We can bite her. I am going to bite her. You feed me, woman. Oh, hello. I'm so cute. Oh, no. Pick me up. Pick me up. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something new. As you can see, that is not my sim. But this is an orphanage with orphan crew children. As you can see, Rainbow was cleaning up uh, baby orphan Draco's mess because he's a turd and he's making a mess everywhere in the orphanage. And then we have Funny over here just throwing stuff everywhere with sugar. Yeah, these kids aren't the best. So part of the challenge is uh, I am not allowed okay. to control Grenchbull. This is Grenchbull, guys. She is the orphanage owner, as you can see. She's very grumpy and she drinks a lot of water. She, it makes her angry. Our challenge is to grow the crew kids to have a normal life, not in this orphanage, you know, move out one day. And it would help if Draco would just stop. Draco, can you just stop? Leaving this orphanage will be impossible with you being a brat. Oh, he's so cute, though. Never, never mind. I didn't know Draco was such, like, a nasty little baby. But it looks like we are getting hungry. Good thing Grenchbull has made some food for everybody. It looks like Lunar is just chowing in with the Franken beans. At least Grenchbull cooks food, but we are gold and rainbow and they are actually kids, meaning they can actually do stuff. Like play doctor. Go ahead and play gold. Gold is petting the teddy bear, finding out its real heart. Okay, gold, we get it. Let's go. Why is gold sad? Write in journal from being sad. I mean, it is an orphanage. Let's do homework. Do we have a journal for you though? I don't think Grenchbull is gonna buy you a journal. Because it looks like she's a little selfish and she's just like, hmm, this is my house. This is the deadly gate to the upstairs. Grenchpool doesn't really let anyone go upstairs yet, so this place is sealed off until they are teenagers. Full grown teenagers. Okay, Gold's doing her homework. We're gonna let that happen. Grenchpool looks very angry. Since Rainbow is the oldest, she has to be the most responsible. And you know, she has to she has to love all of the crew children. What is wrong with Draco's face? Why? What is he doing? It looks like he's up to no good. He's just like, hey guys. Is this the only thing Grunchbull makes? Beans? Is that all you're gonna feed the children? Oh no. She's also doing a very bad job at making these beans. She doesn't seem very happy. Rainbow is getting yelled at by Grunchbull. And that is not nice. I think Rainbow's really mad. Yeah, she's very angry. You know what we should do to Grenchbull? We should provoke her. We should make her angry. Go, Rainbow. Provoke Grenchbull. Oh, she's provoking. <gasps> this is dramatic. Look how angry these children are with the new season pack. Why is everyone eating beans on the bed? I don't get it. Grenchbull is not a very nice lady. She's very angry. You know what? I think it's time for these kids to go, you know, travel around the neighborhood. We can't travel. Oh, wait, we can travel. Okay, we'll travel with everyone, even Grenchbull. The orphan children are visiting uh, Grenchbull's friend's house. This is their next door neighbor. As you can see, all of them are excited to go inside. Since Rainbow is the oldest, we're gonna make her knock first. Rainbow, you got this. Even though your face is like super triggered at Grunchbull, I know. You're gonna go knock on the door and see who answers. Rainbow's going up. She's knocking on the door. <gasps> Ooh, there's actually a really cool water fountain thing here, Rainbow. Maybe you wanna take a sip. What is that? Oh, that's just Grunchbull's cat being crazy. All right, Frisk. You're being crazy. But Rainbow is gonna have some fruit punch from the magical fountain and drink some up. Oh, look at Funny. She's just on the floor sleeping. That's good enough. The thing is, it didn't really say who this house belonged to yet, but they have a really cool cat. Rainbow is still triggered. I wish we could play with Grinch Bull, but we can't because we said it's off limits. Gold, you were sleeping on a creepy bench in the middle of nowhere. Do you really want to sleep in this park right here? Like this creepy park with the statue of a vampire we have to send these babies off to sleep because they're getting extremely grumpy 
And if they're too grumpy, I think Grunchbull is gonna yell at them. What is Grunchbull doing right now? I think she's singing. Oh, she's so good. I like it how she's singing and then there's like a creepy spider in the background. It really matches the feels, but I feel like once they grow up to teenagers, this is gonna be a lot easier to play. So let's do homework right now, everybody. We're gonna make Rainbow do her homework. Come on, Rainbow. Bunny looks really mad and hungry, so let's try getting some food. I don't think Grunchbull's gonna cook anything. Oh, there's only rotten food left. She won't, she won't stop singing. She's so good at singing. Why do you keep singing? All right, so we can open the fridge. I don't think she could do anything. Oh my gosh, we can bite. We can bite her? I am going to bite her. You feed me, woman. You feed this baby food. This baby grumpy. Here goes nothing. We are going to bite Grunchbull. Stop singing. I will defeat you, woman. Let's bite her or force her to take us a bath. Let's bite her right now. See what happens. Oh, hello. I'm so cute. Oh, no. Pick me up. Pick me up. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. We're going to trick Grunchbull one more time. We're going to say, oh, hi, Grunchbull. And then we're going to give a little bite. And now I don't think she's going to make food for us funny. Cat, what are you doing on the table? There's no food left. Okay, this is rotten. This is still good. We can eat this. Frank and beans for life, little funny baby. Oh my gosh, who's on the floor? Lunar, did you just fall? Oh my gosh, they're all so sad. All right, this food is now rotten. But he's waddling on over to grab her food. I think she's struggling to figure out where to waddle. There we go. NBA. And now she's waddling back to her bed. She, oh, she's going. Why is she not eating yet? Pass out. Pass out? You have to waddle back to pass out. Are you serious? You put the food. I don't understand what's happening with this funny baby. I think she's glitching out. Like, she keeps walking back and forth, and she's probably gonna faint. Okay, well, she could eat later. Lunar is chowing up some beans. Grunchbull, can you make something else? Maybe Rainbow can cook something, have a quick meal. She can give everyone. I guess we could all get PB&J sandwiches. Okay, Rainbow, you got this. You're gonna go to the fridge. You're gonna yeah. grab the PB&J. That was a really hard slam. Oh, she's raging. Let's see that again. A balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Eating dirt is unhealthy? Okay, that was no option there, but look how she opens it. And then she's gonna slam because she triggered PB&J. Why doesn't anyone sit on the benches? I'm just curious. Oh, Stinky Draco is up and awake. This toddler phase is actually pretty uh, slow, I would say, just because they can't really interact with her yet. So we're hoping to get them all into teenager ages. And then, oh, she's actually going to change his diaper. That's some friendship right there. I guess Draco's a suck up so he can get Grunchbull to change it. Oh, now he's very angry. Grunchbull, I think your cat's, um, possessed. Why is it red? That's really creepy. You guys, leave a comment down below on what this is. I've never seen this before. What is this? Well, I can't really click on the cat, but the cat is glowing red. Are you a vampire cat? That is so creepy. Oh my gosh, that's so creepy. Rainbow is honestly a really good orphan because she cleans up everything. Like, look at this. Rainbow, do you want to clean out this nasty thing? It's a litter box. I think the cats and the dogs have been... I think the cat was in it and there's some nasty stuff in there. Look how clean Rainbow is. Her responsibility is going through the roof. Well, guys, I think that is everything for this Sims episode. It was a tad bit a little slow, but as soon as we get these babies to have their own party, that's when the true party starts. And maybe, like, Grinchbull moves out or something. Or we could call her a name. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, and would love to see more, hit the like button. And if you want to see me do another challenge, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.